go wrong with laser hair removal? Well, firstly, it may just not work. Now, it works for most people most of the time. It's actually a very successful treatment, but there is, in fact, a small percentage of the population who it just doesn't work for, and there's no real scientific evidence to say why. Even though they are perhaps on paper perfect candidates with fair skin and dark hair, it's just a very small percentage of people it just doesn't work for. But I wouldn't worry too much about it because you would soon realise after one or two treatments if this was you. And I've been doing this for 15 years and have seen perhaps two people in that category. The other thing to watch out for is if you are in the category of people who have a really fair hair colour, then it's a real struggle to remove your hair with laser. So this is people with really fair blonde hair, white or silver, so perhaps your hair's turned grey, or a really fair red hair too. So these people, the hair just doesn't have enough colour to it, doesn't have enough melanin for the laser to pick up to cause enough of a heating effect. So if you are in that category, then I would consider not having laser because you'd probably be wasting your money. However, if your hair, for example, under your arms is one colour and your hair on your bikini is darker, there's nothing to stop you having the treatments on your bikini, but perhaps don't have it on your underarms. So the second thing that could go wrong is a bad skin reaction. Now, if you're using the correct laser on the correct skin type, then this is really rare. It's unlikely to happen to you. And bear in mind that when you go for laser hair removal, you should, at, at the very beginning, have a consultation and a test batch, and then you'll know how your skin reacts. Saying that, there's, just because you've had the test batch, it doesn't mean that nothing will ever happen in future, so just bear that in mind. So, the biggest risk is actually for people with darker skin, and these are the people who need to be careful about which laser they're having. There are very specific lasers for dark skin types and what you mustn't do is have an IPL treatment because then you are definitely running the risk of burning your skin. So if someone goes for a laser and they do get too much heating, whether they've got light skin or dark skin, the worst that can happen is that they do get a burn. So perhaps it starts out as blisters and turns into a burn and then that burn might turn into a hyperpigmented or hypopigmented scar, which basically means your skin will go like darker or lighter and it won't turn back. Perhaps you may have burnt your arm or your hand on the oven before now and you've got a little mark. Uh, well, that's probably what it's going to look like if you do get a laser burn. The third thing that could cause you a problem following laser hair removal is a pigmentation problem. Now, what I mean by that is, if you have a really dark skin type and you have laser, there is a small risk that the colour of your skin will just change and that your skin will just go lighter or darker in the area. This is really unlikely to happen for a light skin type, but it's more likely, although still very rare for a dark skin type. And if that does happen to you, Rest assured that the majority of the time in the research that's been carried out, your skin will just go back to its original colour in around three to four months. The other thing to watch out for in terms of pigmentation damage is after laser hair removal, you definitely should protect the skin that's been lasered from the sunlight, so just normal daylight, for four weeks afterwards. If you were to have laser, for example, on your forearms and you went out every day wearing a t-shirt so that your skin is exposed, you are running the risk of causing pigmentation damage. So it's a different kind of pigmentation damage. And that damage will not go back. It will just stay dark or lighter. I have seen someone actually who had a laser treatment years ago who came to me and said, what can I do about this? I've been in the sun after my treatment and she had stripes of dark patches. So it, it definitely is a real risk. So four weeks after laser, make sure you protect your skin wherever you've had it done with a high sun protection factor or cover it up and you will be absolutely fine. Finally, what else could go wrong after laser? Well, it's become apparent that laser hair removal can result in something called reactive hair growth. What that means is when you have laser treatment, the heat will spread to other areas because naturally you are heating up. And if the treatment is done at a very low level, so maybe the laser is underpowered, it can cause the heat to spread and more hair to grow. So what, when you're actually trying to get rid of hair, you could be causing more hair to grow 
immediately next to the hair you're trying to get rid of. So that is not good news. However, the studies that have been done have shown that it's a very small percentage of the population and also it really depends on the laser being used and the type of person being treated. So the risk is around 1% and of the studies that have taken place so far, it's largely happened in people with a much darker skin type than me, so what we would class as a skin type 4, and with fine hair. So the thing I would say to you is, if you're thinking about investing in a home device laser, I would think twice about it because anything that is too low in power causes just a moderate heat that can stimulate your fine vellus hair follicles to become stronger and thicker whereas a high power laser treatment is going to destroy your hair in a more effective way so just be careful about low power devices and if you fall into the category of a skin type 4 with fine dark hair